Shalom Christian family. I hope everyone having a wonderful Sunday wherever you are in the world. You're in Asia. It's Monday. Happy Monday in Asia. Um, today, kind of weird, but it's not weird. Actually, it's, it's what I've been saying for years about um, what's going on with the U.S. and how the people are blindsided to what's really going on behind closed doors. But the simple fact is, I know anyone heard about Russia at U.S. doorstep right now. They got a Russian submarine off the coast of Florida somewhere. You got Russian ships going to, going to Havana, Cuba. Family. We're almost out of here. Um, and if you're not an unbeliever, I will, those that are watching, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not a, true, a true believer of Christ, I would encourage you to do as soon as possible. Um, some of the Christian brothers, it's funny, we're all on the same page. But I've been saying this even before I became a Christian, even before I even gave my life to know who Jesus was. I've been saying that the United States is going to do something crazy, you know, just by seeing 9-11. 9-11 is a false flag. If anyone don't know what a false flag is, Google, what a, well, it, may even be, it may not even tell you what it really means. A false flag is when the United States orchestra uh, attack and blame it on most likely foreigners or terrorists, the same thing with the day with 9-11. 9-11 was a wake, should be the wake-up call for a lot of people. That was a definitely a false flag. Um, and if they, they could do it once, they can do it again. A lot of the Christian brothers um, and sisters, most, well, many brothers, because this is this is many brothers on this one channel that I watch. And, in, and another channel called Watchers um, something. I forgot Watchers something. But anyway, these brothers is pretty much saying the same thing about how the U.S. might detonate a nuke within the U.S. and blame it on Russia. And this is, I can definitely, definitely see that happening with this administration. With this Biden administration, I can definitely see the United States detonating a nuclear weapon within this country, killing off millions of people, how many, whatever. America don't have a problem killing its own people um, at all. And deplacing and, 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 and putting, putting people here, there, here, there. But the whole thing is we need to be, as Christians, need to be very visible, not fear, and just be close to Jesus because um, they're setting up the scene for something, you know. And the truth be told, the United States want to go to war with Russia. They want, the America want a war, Putin knows it. They want a, a war with Russia. And this would be the best time to do it. Shoot off a nuclear missile within the United States and blame it on Russia. And that's when the war starts. So you guys don't have to um, take my word for it. Like I said, this is just speculation. This is no hard evidence, but this is something just to be aware about because within the Christian community, especially with the watchers, are talking about this. Feed my sheep and some other watchers are talking about this because that's why they're called watchers. To, 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 to watch stuff like this. Because a lot of things you don't hear on the news anyway. The mainstream, and, and if you do hear it, it's, it's not always the right it's half what they telling, really telling you. Thank you, thank God that we have people of, of, of Christ that really looks into things and put it out on the channels of what's really going on and not the um, fake news. But yeah, um, this is what the, a lot of brothers are thinking that the U.S. may pull. They could, if they can do it once, they can do it again. And that's so true. Um, so this is what we have to really um, pray about. Pray that this stuff, that doesn't happen at all because we don't want no type of nuclear exchange, wherever it's the U.S., Russia, 
China or anyone setting off nukes anywhere. We don't want we just don't want that to happen at all. So the whole thing is if the US sets off a nuke that will definitely set off the chain of reaction with Russia and America and, and most likely NATO too. So um, now the purpose of this channel, like I say, is not to fear, it's to wake people up that are asleep, to know to just share information, you know. This as as Christians, we're supposed to share information and I'm just putting that out there because the brothers was talking about it and I had said this years ago. Like even my you know, you know, your your soul, your as your as your inner spirit, which will be your you know, I'm, the the Holy Spirit tells you things. It just tells you things that was not right. The whole 9-11, I remember it clearly with the day that it happened. I said that, that I, I that's not right. That what what they're telling you on news is not right. There's no way. There's no way. I don't believe that the US is that gullible and, and, and systems is that open they let that happen. If anything, the US was behind it. And in, in the 9-11. And even though nothing has came to 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 to, to nothing has came out about it, to, 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 of course you're not going to admit it. But you know. Anyway, so you guys have a wonderful Sunday. I just wanted to put that out there to, to be to keep you guys alert because a lot of people are, heads are in the sand. You know, even within the Christian community, don't know what's really going on around and not really watching because the Bible says speak to, to watch, to to, to 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 be aware of what's going on around us. You know, so. That's what I'm doing. Just passing the message on, as I as I as I see it, and um, it's funny because all these things that are coming to pass, I said this ten over ten years ago that all oh, this would happen, you know, especially with the U.S. falling. I said that. I said the U.S. will fall, um, probably in my lifetime. <laughs> I mean, I'm right here in Las Vegas. You know, this place is decayed so much. Um, but this is all part of the, the of the birth pains. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday. I hope everyone having a wonderful day. God bless everyone. Be safe.